Democracy 3. In the words of Liberty Prime, democracy is inevitable. Yes, it is. America is spreading democracy everywhere, like a good boy. Okay. So this is a game, it's a, it's a strategy game, but it's a political strategy. It's a really good simulation of, a, you know, working with government and trying to fix some, some solutions, making people happy. Uh, which I, I love this game, so I'm going to take you guys through it. Uh, we're going to do a little little playthrough. A little playthrough. I, I think this will be about three episodes, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll leave it at that. So if you guys want to see a game after this, I'm going to play as one nation. Uh, but if you want to see another nation played, then let me know in the comments and I'll do a different series on that one. Or, if you really want, I'm thinking we could do some mods. Because there's mods like the Roman Empire <laughs> and managing the Roman Empire. And then there's the one about uh, like the Middle East and other European countries. So, there's, there's a lot of good things to do. But right now, I, I do have all DLCs and I have conservative gun control mod, which makes gun control more realistic. Um... But let's get started. So here's the different nations we can play as. The UK, France, Germany, the United States, Canada, Australia. So we're pretty good. That's it. All right. So I'm thinking um, <laughs> we could do one of two things. We could play as America because America, America is the uh, best best place in the world we all know that so we can play America try to make that good or actually I have a better idea let's play Germany and let's try to make the Nazi Reich the fourth Reich <laughs> let's try it all right fourth Reich time all right we are so the German party the NSDAP was the National Social Democratic Workers Party. National uh, Social Democratic Arbeitspartei, or something like that. Arbeit is work in German. So let's see the People's Movement, the Socialist Party, the Socialist Coalition, Democratic, Democratic Conservatives. I think that's Nazi right there. And we're going against Jehovah. <laughs> <laughs> because the, the Jews and I, I hope this doesn't offend anybody but this is just gonna be a fun little thing to try to make make this happen um, uh, yeah let's go against the Jehovah term length we're gonna make this four years we're gonna make no limit on the terms um, gonna keep everything normal and let's get started we will make the fourth Reich yeah! Here we go. Alright, just loading up the game. Got some good music, got a good image here. Here we are. Welcome to Democracy 3. You have started your first term as Chancellor, and as your Chief of Staff, I'm here to explain how things work. Well, I don't need you, Mr. Chester, with those teeth of yours, so I'm gonna quit. Right. Congratulations on your election victory. Welcome to your new job as Chancellor. The lives of all 81 million citizens are now in your hands. Alrighty. I like that. 81 million lives. 81 million Nazi citizens. <laughs> Alright. GDP is pretty good. Unemployment's a bit high. Health is eh, crime is eh, poverty's eh, but we have very good education. All right, let's begin our term of office. Yes, so here we go. Now, if you have not played Democracy 3, this could be very intimidating as a screen. I mean, look at all this stuff at once, it's a lot, but I'll break it down for you. So these are all policies or enactable things, all right? And I'll just go over this, this first thing first. So these are different groups of people. Say commuters, people who use public transport, or wealthy people that are upper class citizens, or uh, ethnic minorities that are ethnic minorities. And then there's everyone. These are different groups of people. 
And this bar here, green, red, or yellow, means that they are in support of you, or how much they support you. If they're red, they hate your guts. If they're green, they are fanatical about you. And if they're yellow, they don't give a damn. So, uh, we're just going to assume that we're okay right now, because we're still in the yellow, we're getting close to the red. But uh, people are, are they, t they tolerate us. Alright. So that's that. Now these are the big things. These are different things, policies, uh, traits of a nation. The blue things here, such as this, this is tourism. These are different ratings of things, like GDP, gross domestic profit, or uh, tourism here. This bar measures how much you get, and there's different things that cause it to go up or down, and they have effects. So like foreign relations, we can click on that. And foreign relations, if we have high foreign relations, it causes more tourism, but also causes racial tension, lowers immigration, lowers trade. So things are interconnected. These red things are bad events which have happened, like homelessness. This is caused by poverty, employment, property tax, immigration, but it's stopped by housing and unemployed benefits. These are what it causes. Everyone un is unhappy and crime goes up. The value, the start trigger, and stop trigger. This, basically, these things are off to the side. They don't matter. They appear if the causes become too high on this graph. See, it starts in this red. But if you lower it enough so that it goes below the green, it stops. So you, you can get rid of these things. But how do you get rid of them? Well, there's these white things. And these are laws. So you can enact laws and see they do different things. They increase technology, GDP, productivity, capitalists are happy, religious membership goes down, and you can scale them. So this is how much money you fund, and you'll see they slide up and down depending. But I'll refer so that way I don't waste anything. So yeah, and you can enact new policies, foreign policy, welfare, economy, tax, public services. You can enact things and implement them, and there's popularity, and they cost money. And there's also money. So you have income from taxes and expenditure for different social programs. And you have to try to balance your budget to make sure you don't spend any money. And this is the big thing. Uh, quick tutorial. This is your power. Your governmental power. So this allows you to create new laws. See the political capital? 25 over 26? We have 26 right now. It costs money. It costs, well, it costs those power points, those capital points, to implement new laws, or to change laws themselves. If we have to raise this, then it goes up by 7. And we, we lose 7 of these points. And every time you do a new turn by hitting next, it increases this, and your money goes through. So it's a turn-based system where you slowly change the government to how you want it, you try to make things better, and that's that. And there are green events, too. Like I said, these red events, there are good things that can happen. But the whole goal is to try to make everybody happy and do... Excuse me. Shape the government how you want it to be shaped. Like, and these are taxes. So, these different things are split into seven categories. Taxes, the economy... It, it, ugh, sorry. The economy, welfare, foreign policy, transportation, law and order, and public services. So these are different things that are affected, like crime is under law and order. But then there's also laws, like a jury trial. So the goal of the game is to try to maximize that, and shape the government how you want, and to have everyone support you. Alright, so here we are. Deutschland, Deutschland, über alles. Deutsch Germany, Germany, above all. This is our cabinet as well. So these are advisors that give you more power points per month. You can fire them if you don't like them, because they have loyalty to some groups. So say, if you middle-income people don't like me, if one of these persons supports middle-income, then I can fire them and get somebody who supports, uh, say, environmentalists. And they give me more capital than political capital. See, there's other ministers, like, like I said, socialists. And some of them have more experience and more loyalty. And they give you more points, too. So you have to mix your cabinet to get the max amount of political capital points here. This fist. So you can do more, make the government better, and have fun. Alright. Deutschland. Germany. 
So what's our plan? We are making the Third Reich alive again. We are making Germany great again by creating the Fourth Reich. All right. So how are we going to do that? We want to make conservatives happy. We want to make conservatives really happy. We want patriots up. We want people armed with guns so people can can take over the world. Uh, we want capitalists. We want money. We want lots of money. We want everyone to be happy. State employees happy. We want unionists happy. We want uh, everyone happy. Motorists. Commuters. Uh, but we don't want liberals, and we don't want uh, self-employed people. We want the government working for them, because we want everyone to be a Nazi. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make the Fourth Reich. All right, so let's look at what problems are with our nation. We have homelessness. Homelessness. And this is caused by poverty, and this is caused by unemployment, and also by immigration and property tax. So let's look at poverty. Poverty. What is this caused by? Sales tax, alcohol tax, tobacco tax. All right, it's caused by tax. So if we get that down, then we'll be uh, we'll be dandy. There's no homelessness. What else is there? Inner city riots. This is caused by poverty, crime, and unemployment. Now we can actually stop this if we get it low enough. We have alcohol abuse because all Germans like beer. That's a stereotype, but it's very true. Internet crime. We can actually get pretty close to this. We need more intelligence services to be able to stop that. We also have obesity. Agriculture subsidies and the GOP. G, sorry, GDP causes that. But if we make organic farming there, have private health care and state health service, it can go down. See, it has negative effects on our health. So we need to get that out of here. Because health is very important. All right. So how do we fix this? How do we make everything better? So right now, uh, we would like some people to like us more, because we can't really get reelected right now, because, see, people aren't really supporting us, because we want to get reelected is the key thing. If we don't get elected again, we lose the game. So we need people to support us, and we need to make the country better by making it fascist. Yes, the true third way. So here's what we need to do. We need to stop this crime. We need to stop this alcohol abuse. We need to get some money. Because right now we're only making $7 billion a year. It seems like a lot, but it's really not when you're comparing these two numbers. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to stop this crime with intelligence services. Now, can we increase this? Yes. Internet crime goes down. Crime goes down. Liberals are unhappy. But that doesn't matter. We're going to apply the changes. Boom. All right. Farmers like us, so we want to keep it that way. Retired like us, we want to keep it that way. Environmentalists. Uh, hippies. All right, well, we're going to try to get conservatives. So what? Prostitution is legalized. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Because the true third way doesn't want to have prostitution. That is terrible. That's terrible in any society. So we need to get rid of that. All right, technology. We want the best technology money can buy. So we have 19 points left. Uh, we're, we're not spending too much money. So will this go down? Yes, yes, it will go down. So eventually we will have much better, better defense against internet crime. Alright, what next? We have alcohol abuse. Alcohol consumption. How do we get this down? Um, more alcohol taxes? Let's increase that. Alright. But then what we can do is decrease corporation taxes. Why? 
1%. So that means people will be much happier. Much, much happier. Boom. Let's apply that change. Alright. So capitalists, are you are you slowly getting better? Alright. They're getting a little bit better. Alright. So what next? Let's see. We have this problem. We have obesity. Alright. Well, we're out of PowerPoint, so I think we need to end the turn. Education still up. This is still the same. All right. Uh, debt collection agencies have been in the news because of aggressive methods they are using to extract payment. A lot of agencies to operate. Yes. We need to control the money. The government controls the money. Ugh. All right. So we are spending more. So we need to kind of cut the spending. So what can we do? There are some things we can do that are very good, like... Um, Public libraries are huge. And they cost literally nothing. Alright, let's apply that. Because that is very important. Public libraries are great. Libraries, my bad. Let's see. Compulsory school sports. We will get that eventually. Oh, yes. Actually, can we do that now? Oh, look at that. Obesity is going down. Health's going up. Oh, that, that is perfect. All right, let's apply that. Oh, yes. We're going to cut that obesity. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Another 4.7% 4, 4. going down. Our health is going to be perfect. All right? We are going to be perfect Aryan master race healthy. All right? That's how good it's going to be. All right. Tourism at diplomatic service. Import tariffs. Yes. We want import tariffs. Capitalists, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but um, we're going to have to be uh, good here. Trade unionists, 46%. Oh, Lord. Oh, all right. So we're going to have to support them. But conservatives, conservatives are going to be very happy, all right? We're going to make them great again. All right, so let's cut this out. It's the next turn. All right. Boom. Child labor law. Criminalize child labor. Ooh. All right. So what effect does that have? Do we do we know? Child labor. We know. Child labor law. It decreases GDP, but that's fine. Alright. Our GDP is going down. Alright. Well, we need to fix that. The economy is doing bad right now, but that's okay. Narcotics are outlawed. That's good. Alright. Prostitution. Where's prostitution? This maternity leave. That's that's fine. Uh, prostitution. Is that where is that? It's here. Legalize prostitution. Can we cancel this? Um, that's a lot of GDP, though. Alright, let's cancel this. Boom! Look at our popularity skyrocketing. Conservatives, are you happier? Yes, they make up 36%, so we're going to make them very happy. We're going to make them very, very happy. Alright, let's end the turn again. Alrighty. Nobel Prize! Yes! Yes, look at that! Superior German ingenuity at its finest. Look at that. Liberals go up. I don't care about them. 
look at this. GDP goes up. Patriots are happy. Patriot membership goes up. We want people to love our country. And look at that. Crime's going down. Education's going up. Germany will be great again. This is... Uh, look at this. Everyone's happy. Conservatives are happy. Parents are happy. Religious are happy. Liberals are happy. Patriots. Everybody's happy. Oh, look. Our popularity. It's skyrocketing. Skyrocketing. All right, so we're going to need, we're going to cut out a smoking tax. Uh, actually, I don't need that. All right, let's see, what kind of tax can we get? Because right now we're, we have a lot of expenditure. State pensions make up a lot, health service, income. Income tax, sales tax, petrol tax. What kind of taxes can we put in? Graduate tax, no. Hybrid cars initiative. Let's do that. Because that makes everybody happy. All right, what else can we do? Junk food tax, health food subsidies. Yeah, supply the changes. Make everyone healthy again. Um. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Um. Yes, let's take this off. Alright, we need to make small business good. Alright, let's see. Is that going to make things better? Because it better make things better. Alright. GDP is going down. We need to fix that. We need to fix that a lot. Alright. Uh, ban the sale of GM food. We need to make America... We need... Not America. Germany great again. Capitalists hate our guts. I don't care about them. Self-employed are much better. We need self-employed people to be happy. Alright. Socialists. Uh. Oh my lord. 80% of the population. Alright. Well, we'll be democratic socialists then. Because that's what fascists are. So let's, uh, be... Be, uh, with that. Alright. How's our obesity doing? Oh, look at that. It's going down. It's going down. It's going down for real. Jo that's a that's a joke um, yeah that's a, that's a joke uh, here we go oil demand going down because we don't want oil we're, we're natural all right Aryans don't need oil from the Middle East we use good things all right so what else can we do what do people like welfare state housing uh, rent controls Let's implement that. Poverty goes much down. Oh, let's do that. We need no poverty. State controlled. Everything needs to be state controlled. Alright. Alcohol awareness. We have an alcohol problem. So let's let's do that. Alright. What else? Food stamps. Food stamps are great. Everybody needs food stamps. Poverty goes way down. Health goes way up. Apply the changes. What else can we do? Economy. Consumer rights. Antibiotics ban. Uh, small business grants. Business startup campaign. Let's do business startup campaign. Everybody's happy. Alright, what else? Young Entrepreneur Scheme. Eco Home Regulations. Let's make some... Uh, city farms. Let's make some city farms. Farmers are happy. We need to keep farmers happy. Alright. So let's do all this stuff. Eco Home Regulations. CO2 emissions go down. Everybody's happy. Here we go. Next turn. Inventing the Internet. 
disappointing friends to top jobs. Oh, credit rating. GDP is falling, but poverty is falling and crime is falling. So that's very good. Alright, we need our GDP to go up though. So let's look at our GDP. What's causing it to be so bad? The global economy. Alright, traffic congestion. How can we get rid of that? Public transportation, that's how. Let's do some rail subsidies. We need to make everything great. Transportation. Biofuel subsidies. Oh yeah, let's do that. We want no oil coming in. We want we want everything to be in here. Alright. We want no CO2. We want a perfect environment. Look at the poor. 24%. They're going down. Farmers, 17%. They're, they love us. Parents love us. Retired love us. Conservatives are getting much happier. Much happier. Religious environmentalists. Oh. Oh. Alright, folks. I think that's going to be it. We're making Germany much better. We are recreating the Third Reich into the Fourth Reich with Chancellor Angela Merkel as the Fourth Reich. Here we go, folks. We're, uh, we are making Germany great again. Deutschland, Deutschland, uber alles. This is the Intellectual Gamer, and I'll see you all, folks. Have a wonderful day.